Hey all, welcome to the class. Uh, here we'll be discussing about type conversion. So type conversion is also uh, called as type casting, right? So why we are going for this type conversion? What is the purpose to do this type conversion? First, we should know what is mean by type conversion. Type conversion means converting from one data type to another data type. Okay, so when we have declared any variable and uh, while in a program, while we are processing in a program, we can convert that variable from one data type to another data type. So that is what a type conversion here that is also called as a type casting. And why we are going for this type conversion or why we are going for this type casting is uh, there are so many reasons for uh, doing this type conversion that is for uh, avoiding the data loss and then uh, we can do this for a like uh, when we can do this type conversion means when we have expressions which involves more than one data type so at that time we can go for this type conversion and in this type conversion uh, we have two classifications one is implicit type conversion and the next one is explicit type conversion so implicit type conversion means it is an automatic type conversion that is uh, here this conversion can be done by the compiler itself on its own means it, uh, there is no involvement involvement of user here okay so user won't uh, involve in any of these conversions but the conversion can ha happen by the compiler on its own okay so by the compiler itself the data type i mean the variable from one data type can be converted to another data type and uh, as mentioned here when we are going for this type conversion means when we have expressions that involves more than one data type and that kind of expressions may uh, have this implicit type conversion and this implicit type conversion is also called as type promotion so promotion means upgrading to some higher level that is what a promotion generally and here type promotion means it is upgrading to the largest data type so here itself it means that type implicit type conversion means we are converting the data type that is lower data type to higher data type here we are doing type promotion that is we are upgrading the data type that is lower data type to largest data type or higher data type and why we are going for this type conversion in order to avoid the data loss we are going for this type conversion as mentioned the implicit type conversion is an automatic type conversion that is the compiler by its own it will do this type of conversion and uh, when it will do this type of conversion means when there is a necessity to convert lower data type to higher data type okay when we need an upgrade up, upgradation from lower data type to higher data type at that time the implicit type conversion will happen and this is the example i can show you that when we have a character type of data okay which is the lowest data type we can say and this lowest and highest data type how we are categorizing is by based on the size okay so a character usually takes one byte where a short takes two bytes and int takes four and a long also take four the float take four likewise double take eight so in the same way all the data types has its own memory size and based on the size only we are categorizing it as lowest lower data type and higher data type so if that is the case then character is the lower data type lowest data type we have and long double is the highest data type we have so when we want to convert this character into uh, short integer long or float or double or long double then it is called as an implicit type conversion because the lowest data type is converted into higher data type by the compiler on its own okay without the involvement of any user or we can say there is no external trigger from the user for this conversion okay this will happen automatically by the compiler when it is necessary right it won't always happen in the uh, it won't it won't always happen so it happens only when it is necessary this is about the implicit type conversion so now we will see an example for implicit type conversion and this is the implicit type conversion in this program we have a main function 
and inside this main function we have declaration statements two declaration statements with two different types so in the first declaration statement we, we have integer type of data in the second declaration statement we have character type of data and if you see the third statement so in this third statement we have an expression and that expression is actually performing addition operation and that addition is happening for the operands x and y here x is an integer type of data but when you look at y here y is actually a character type of data right so when we have character type of data and we are going to perform some operation on the data with integer type of data and at this place okay so an implicit type conversion will happen because x is an integer type of variable which is of higher type and y is a character type of variable which is of lower type and the result we are going to store is an x which is of integer type again it is a higher type so if this is the case and this expression involves two different data types then here we are going for implicit data conversion that is we are not doing any implicit conversion the compiler by itself what it will do is it will do implicit type conversion that is it will convert this character type into integer type okay so how this value can be converted into integer how a character can be converted into integer means by taking the ascii ascii value of this variable i mean this alphabet a okay so here we have ascii values that is uh, for uh, this a okay that is this capital letter a to small letter z and capital let, uh, sorry small letter a to small letter z and capital letter a to capital letter z so for this we have some ascii values and for this small letter a the ascii value is 97 okay so that value will be taken here and this is an integer value right so this value will be taken here and then it will compute the result and coming to the next statement here again one more declaration statement where we are declaring float type of variable and in this float type of variable again we are performing addition but the addition is for integer data and floating data x is an integer data which has value 10 but 1.0 is a floating value right and the result will also be stored in z that is float type of value so when this is happening okay when you are performing an operation here and you are going to store the result in float type but this integer value is involved here so at that time the integer will be converted into a floating point and that will be treated as a floating value okay so here the implicit conversion is happening when you are changing from lower data type to higher data type so there an implicit conversion is happening and now this will be 10.0 and here this will be 1.0 the final result we will obtain here is okay uh 11.0 but one more thing we have to note here because here the x value is not taken from here here the x value is taken from here because after the statement we updated the value of x here in the statement so now the value of x here is so 10 plus 97 we'll get 107 right so the updated value of x is 107 and when the x value is used here so it will access this value new value 107 so it will take 107.0 plus 1.0 and produces the result 108.0 right so now in the print of statement x value will be printed as 107 whereas z value will be printed as 108.00000 because it is a floating value and here we are using percentage f for float value so after decimal point six digits will be printed and here x is an integer type of value so that we are using percentage d right so here the x value will be printed as integer type and this is what the implicit conversion the next is the explicit type conversion so here this explicit type conversion uh, is a user defined one because here user is involved to convert from one data type to another data type whereas an implicit type conversion there is no involvement of user but here user will involve in conversion and what user can do is user can type cast to make the result in particular data type 
okay that is here we are going to convert higher data type to lower data type that is why we are going for this explicit type conversion when we want to convert higher data type into lower data type at that time we need explicit type conversion so user have to do it explicitly then how we can convert from one data type to another data type is with this syntax so this is the syntax we have used for converting from higher data type to lower data type and inside this braces we have to give the type which we want to convert okay in which type we want to convert that particular expression so here we have to mention the type of data that is data type and uh, along with the expression the expression that we want to convert okay and here this is the example in time i have given integer so the expression is a now a is in some other data type so i want to convert that a into integer type at that point i'm just using this type conversion here okay explicit type conversion that is int a and this a can be of any data type higher than this integer okay this is the example for explicit type conversion and here we have main function inside that we have a declaration statement that has data type double and the variable used is x with a value 1.2 then the next is see uh, uh, next is the declaration statement again we have a declaration here that is integer uh, and the variable is sum and in this statement we are going to perform some operation that is this is an expression now right so here we are going to perform some operation and what you are going to perform you are going to perform addition addition on the double value 1.2 with 1 so since double uh, this double value that is 1.2 is of higher data type and we are going to store the result in integer data type right so the result will be in integer data type but the operation we are performing is on double data type so we what we have to do in that case we should convert that higher data type double into a lower data type int so that is why we are going for this explicit conversion and you can see here here is a conversion happening so for this double data type it is converted into integer data type now the value 1.2 will be taken as 1 plus 1 and finally the result will be and it will be stored inside the variable sum which is of integer type so when you try to print the value of sum the output will be sum is equal to 2 right so here double is converted into int that is why we are going for this explicit type conversion so this is all about the type conversions and its types